Well, welcome back. The Middleton community is continuing to remember the lives of three young high school seniors tonight, and it's now eight days after they were killed in a fiery crash. Photojournalist Brian Troxel has more from this afternoon's celebration of life at Middleton High School. We gather with great sadness as the Middleton High School family. We are at a complete loss for words. But our gathering today is our way of reassuring each other that together we can face this loss. I'm gonna miss seeing him in the stands because he was at all of our soccer games and he was our biggest fan and, and our number one supporter. He threw his backpack on a desk, sat down with a worried look on his face and yelled, Miss Burgos, I need your help. Because of this memory and so many more, I can say to you today, my name is Melissa Burgos and I am friends with Evan, Jack and Simon. And I also happen to be their teacher. Each kid plays an essential role, but you need leaders and you need connectors. And what a leader Simon was. It did not take long to realize that his presence was all heart and empathy and joy for those around him. And he always knew how to find the good <laughs> no matter the situation. And I think you'd want us to try to smile right now, even though it's hard. We've been remembering the lives of Evan, Jack, and Simon all week long here on News 3 Now. You can find all of our stories right now on our website, channel3000.com. Now, the Dane County Sheriff's Office says charges against the driver who rear-ended the teenager's vehicle could come this week. Police said he is a 30-year-old man from Madison.